I'm not even going to do my intro, guys. Um, Because I just want to get right into this. So, it's all over the news. It's no mistaken. It looks like Henry Cavill is out of Superman. We know little to nothing about why, what's going on, what happens. And then, not even a couple hours later, reports are saying, or confirmation, that Ben Affleck will be leaving. Now, this whole Ben Affleck situation has been happening happening for over a year before Justice League came out. I would like to see people defend this now. There are people still saying, guys, 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 Henry Cavill's uh, manager said, like, hey, the cape is still in the closet, this and that. Warner Brothers and uh, Henry still have a great relationship. So tell me. If this report is false, tell me, why didn't Warner Brothers deny these allegations? This isn't some Backstreet Alley Instagram page just trying to start DC drama as usual. This is the Hollywood Reporter, a very noble and a very consistently accurate news source about film. And they said, listen, these are just reports. These are coming out of Warner Brothers themselves, not the head, but people that work at Warner Brothers. And then you got uh, Henry Cavill's manager saying, oh, I mean, the, the cape is still in the closet. Literally, that could mean anything, and it could mean absolutely jack fucking shit. It could mean jack shit. And plus, if the manager said, hey, guess what? He is not doing it anymore. Fucking Warner Brothers will have a shitstorm to clean up. And she doesn't want to fuck over... Henry and like lose this relationship with Warner Brothers or whatever's left of it and then you got Henry Cavill posting a, uh, a thing on Instagram where he's just holding up a Superman doll that says absolutely nothing about the situation that we're in and then you got Warner Brothers the reason why I waited to make this video because I wanted to hear what Warner Brothers had to say in a nutshell they're saying we, we can't confirm nor deny what, what these allegations are saying, but our relationship is still strong, but we have no plans for future DC films relating to Superman. Are you fucking kidding me? That literally says nothing about the question that has been asked. The question that was asked is, is Henry Cavill still Superman or not? And if you guys know Warner Brothers and DC by now, they dodge when they're basically when the news is on their trail they dodge and they have an answer directly and for people still thinking that Su that superman is still going to be relevant with henry cavill i'm sorry i'm going out as i see it. if you believe good good for you but i'm so sick and tired of the dc extended universe at this point i'm so tired of it first off you know what they're going to do with this Superman character? They're going to just you know, ignore him. They're going to brush to the side. Reports, if the reports are 100% true. This is where the speculation really comes in. But this is true. And they focus on Supergirl. Are you fucking kidding me? You got Supergirl on TV. A lot of people don't like her show, but I personally enjoyed Supergirl on the TV show. What are you going to do now? Just cancel Supergirl? Because apparently you can't have Deathstroke in the uh, this, uh, Arrowverse while having one on the big screen. You can't have Suicide Squad while one being on the CW Universe and one being on the DC Extended Universe. You can't have it. So what are you going to do? Cancel Supergirl? I don't think so. Wait. Maybe they will because guess what? The reports are saying that Superman is going to get his own TV show and then now Supergirl is going to get her movie. It No. You can't have that. I'm not saying, oh, a woman can't do it. No, I'm not saying a woman can't do it. It's just not the same. You cannot make Supergirl and turn her into Superman what Superman stands for. Because guess what? You can't just expect them having an S and be the same fucking character. They're two completely different characters. Carl Danvers, Supergirl, is more aggressive. More aggressive than the TV shows like the, like the show. She's more angry. She's more hateful. But she's still loving. But she's got the aggressive side that makes her not Superman. Superman is always trying to teach her how to be loving and caring and how to hold a rage back. But guess what? She does become a Red Lantern. It's going to show you how angry she is. You can't make Supergirl be Superman. It just doesn't work like that. And you're going to tell me. 
You are going to tell me that you're going to continue this fucking universe? You lost Superman. You lost Batman. You have no fucking stable ground for this extended universe that you're running. There's nothing there. Man of Steel, which I personally loved. I love Man of Steel. But guess what? Half the population did not. And then you got BVS, which should have been a $2 billion movie. Easy. Easy. Critics pan, I thought was fucking garbage. Because guess what? Instead of focusing on Batman v Superman, they focused on getting Wonder Woman in there. They focused on the rush to the Justice League. They focused on death of Superman. They fucking rushed so much in that goddamn movie. There was five minutes of Batman v Superman, and it ends with... Save Martha! You can't have this universe running off of limp dick bullshit. You can love BVS, but guess what? 70% of the goddamn population does not. So that's got to tell you something. It's not people trying to hate DC. I love DC. I grew up on DC animated stuff. Which breaks my heart because guess what? I hate this fucking crap they're putting out. It's garbage. Are you shitting me? They ruined Batman v Superman. All you gotta do is get these two characters and guess what? The characters write themselves. Because guess what? One's hopeful. One's in the light. One's got all power. And then one's dark, brooding, hides in the shadows. And is just speculating that everyone's gonna be fucking evil at one point. The shit should write itself. But you got you For some fucking reason, you had to put Lex Luthor in there. And then you gotta put Doomsday in there. And then you got fucking Justice League, which I personally enjoy. It's still a fucking awful piece of shit of a film. But guess what? It even cracked 600 fucking million dollars. It barely did. I'm sorry. It barely cracked 600 million dollars. This is the Avengers for DC. I know people hate that comparison, but it is. Justice League is way more popular, or was way more popular, than Avengers. Before the Avengers movie came out, before the talks were even around, you go up to anybody, who's the Avengers? So people would be like, who? Who's Justice League? They, they would, most of the time, they wouldn't know. More times than not, they're gonna be like, that's the one where Superman and Batman team up, right? Boom, Avengers. No one really knew who Iron Man was before the movie came out. Don't get me wrong, there's still a lot of people who knew Iron Man, but most of the people watching these fucking films did not know Iron Man. Now they do. But most of the population knew who Batman was, knew who Superman was before any movie came out. And you're still fucking it up! I don't understand! And you ruined Justice League, and it barely makes 600 fucking million dollars. The lowest gross in DC Extended Universe film. That has to tell you something. This isn't something where, oh, the Marvel fanboys are just trying to ruin DC. Stop deflecting! There is an obvious issue here. And now you got Henry Cavill gone as Superman, and they're going to replace him with fucking Supergirl. And I know this is this is not true what the reports are saying. Like, I, I read the actual report. People are like, he's going to be replaced by Michael B. Jordan. No, no. That was more of an end tag saying like, hey, it could happen. But they're saying like, it's it's nothing valid. Honestly, this really annoys the loving shit out of me. It really does. What I genuinely think is that they are hopefully, I'm hoping, this is my naive side, I'm hoping that they're planning the reboot after Wonder Woman 84. I really am hoping. I hope they scrap the Matt Reeves Superman, and uh, Superman, hope, I hope they scrap the uh, Matt Reeves Batman films, but not scrap them entirely. Just make it something new, fresh, and put it in the new DC Extended Universe. Make it something new. Guys, if you guys are holding yours, I don't want to hear it. Let's just listen for five minutes. Man of Steel, personally loved it. Half the population didn't. BVS, should have been a $2 billion movie easy. Doesn't make $2 billion, which is fine. It still made a billion dollars. But... The box office numbers went from like, I forget what the opening weekend was. I think it was like 150 and then dropped drastically. It dropped drastically because of the reports. And guess what? I think it got like a solid 36% on Rotten Tomatoes. And then you got Suicide Squad. Really bad. Just bad. If you guys remember, Flash was a thing. Cyborg was a thing. Then it turned into Flash and Cyborg buddy cop movie. And then... Flash went through like 10 fucking directors. Cyborg is now canceled because the budget would have been $200 million easy. And with Justice League only cracking $600 million, they're not going to freaking do it because you need it for a $200 million budget film. With the marketing added to that, you need $600 million to crack even. 
Their track record is not on point. They rushed in the beginning. Now, so you're already crippled. So you're just limping on. You're losing Batman. You're losing Superman. And then you got someone from Warner Brothers, I forget who it was, saying, well, it's like a James Bond thing. See, what we can do is just recast. We can just do that. And, you know, we'll just keep it going. Keep it going through the years and make it unlimited. First off, no, you can't. The thing is with James Bond is that they're loosely connected but still being the same. They're loosely connected because if they're fucking connected 100% like an actual film, tell me, how has he been alive for this fucking long? They're loosely connected, but guess what? They can do it because it's the type of film it is. You could try to do the recasting thing, but the thing is, you don't deserve it. You genuinely don't deserve it. I'm not saying Marvel deserves it either. I don't think they deserve it because I think what they need is just new characters. DC shouldn't even be considering recasting at this point. But guess what? They are. So it's time to fucking reboot. Guys, wake up and smell the flowers. It's time to reboot. That's all I really have to say, guys. Later.